The French foreign minister says peace between long-time enemies Azerbaijan and Armenia is possible. Catherine Colonna is in Baku for talks with the Azerbaijani president. She'll also meet with Armenian leaders. That's as Armenia files a case with the International Court of Justice challenging Azerbaijani checkpoints in the corridor from Armenia to the occupied region of Nagorno-Karabakh. The last major fighting between the two countries was in 2020. Al Jazeera's Bernard Smith is in Baku now and joins us live from there. So it seems this round, uh, Bernard, has been uh, started with a dispute over checkpoints. Is the backstory really to all of this, though, the waning Russian influence in Nagorno-Karabakh? They're supposed to be playing the role, of course, of peacekeepers, right? Yes, yeah, Sammy, there are Russian peacekeepers on the main road, the Lachin corridor that links the ethnic Albanians in Karabakh to uh, ethnic Armenians, excuse me, in Par Karabakh to Armenia proper. The Az Azeris have put a checkpoint up on there, they say, because Armenia is running weapons to Karabakh charges. Of course, Armenia denies. But they've done this under uh, the nose, if you like, of Russian peacekeepers have been there since 2020. And while the Russian peacekeepers are there, it's the French foreign minister with US backing who's here in Baku leading diplomatic efforts to try and resolve this latest flare-up. That is irritated the Russians, the foreign ministry spokeswoman saying today that the US and France are trying to undermine uh, Moscow's role in this region. But the fact is, peacekeepers Russian peacekeepers or any peacekeepers can't really enforce their role at gunpoint. They rely on the power and the influence of the state, in this case Russia, uh, that backs them. And Azerbaijan seems to have... Uh, the suggestion is that with Russia so focused on Ukraine, then it's taken its eye off the ball here somewhat. And that is why the French and the US have stepped in to try and resolve this uh, latest flare-up. All right, maybe you can explain to us the concerns of those ethnic Armenians in Nagorno-Karabakh, as well as perhaps the, the Azeris in putting up that checkpoint. What, what is all of this about? Well, Armenia really suspects that Azerbaijan is trying to essentially take over the rest of Karabakh by stealth. Azerbaijan, in that last war between the two sides in 2020, took back control of huge amounts of territory around the main urban area of Karabakh, the main city, Kankandi, is what the Azeris call it for the uh, Armenians. It's Stepanakert, ethnic Armenians in there. And they want to remain, they're sort of sep separated from uh, uh, Azerbaijan. It's internationally recognised as Azeri territory, but it is essentially disputed. And this is why this conflict's been so long running, because they haven't resolved the final status of this area. Armenia, Azerbaijan says it's offered Armenia dual control over this road. Armenia, it says Armenia hasn't taken up that offer, and that's why the Azeris put in this checkpoint. But the French have said today, Catherine Colonna said, she does not believe this checkpoint should be there. It could lead to further flare-ups of violence. And the Russians also said a couple of days ago they don't believe either side should be taking unilateral actions. Anyway, Catherine Colonna, it will head on to Yerevan. She'll be speaking with the Armenians about this later, and then she's off to Tbilisi in Georgia. Sammy. All right, thanks so much. Bernard Smith there.